Warnings have been lifted, but the strong storms did cause damage across parts of New England. WBZ's Julie McDonald is in Haverhill tonight, where some neighborhoods are cleaning up the mess. You can only imagine how loud the crack must have been when this tree split and came smashing down. With the branches splintered across the roof, this home looks more like a dollhouse. A big mess on busy Salem Street in Haverhill Tuesday night. The late afternoon storm sent this tree crashing onto the roof of this house. Neighbors up the street couldn't believe what they saw. It's devastating. Look at it's right through the roof. That's terrible. The storms move quickly across the region. Torrential rain, strong winds, and frequent thunder and lightning. One lightning strike hit this house in Georgetown, causing a fire. The rest of the day was all about more heat. Sky eye flew over this Cambridge public housing building where workers were turning on the AC. Residents told WBZ it happened only after they complained their homes were brutally hot. It's 85 degrees in my apartment. That makes me feel miserable. After the storms rolled through, it was game on at Fenway. No complaints about the heat here. Fans are just thrilled to be out. First night at the ball game, can't beat that. Yeah, it feels really good. Ambiance, the game, being around everyone. We feel normal. It's good. It's time. After so long at home, nights like these can take some getting used to. So it's just weird. It's like you leave the house and you're like, do I bring my mask? All smiles heading into the ballpark, a normal night out already feeling like a win. I'd like to thank all the research scientists and all the medical personnel and all the first responders that uh, had to deal with this. and protect society for over a year. Got to be grateful for those people. And back here in Haverhill, a neighborhood grateful for different reasons. It's a bit of a headache for this homeowner, but neither he nor his tenants were hurt. Julie McDonald, WBZ News.